Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So today I want to talk about the seven key signs that you are shifting on the journey and that union is close. And first of all, I want to state that you always on this journey, without doubt, without any um, ifs or buts, you always create inner union first. On this journey, inner union is always created before outer union with the divine masculine. So what are the seven signs that you have shifted on this journey? The first one is you have shifted out of that anger stage. You have shifted out of that victim stage. There is no more resentment. There is no more regret. You have really shifted and it, this activates in the throat chakra. Remember that Kundalini is activated on the journey. Kundalini lays dormant at the base of your spine, at that base and root chakra. Once awoken, Shakti Ma is there and dancing up the chakra system. She's dancing and she's dissipating out all the lower frequencies. I also want to just state here that often we see kundalini awakenings. If you search it online, you often see very dramatic things happening. Yes, sometimes a kundalini can be very dramatic. Other times it can work more subtle with your body. So don't look at those videos and think, oh my goodness, I'm not having this dramatic thing happen to my body. Maybe I'm not having a kundalini. Every single twin flame will go through a kundalini, but kundalini is your life force energy. A lot of the time when we see kundalini online, we're seeing a very forced kundalini. I personally have been teaching and guiding people for over 20 years and I personally don't believe that you should ever force a kundalini awakening. Kundalini is your life force energy and it is about working with you, your own divine feminine within. Remember, yes you are divine feminine, yes your divine masculine is in a separate body but you also, every single person on this planet holds their own masculine and feminine within. And we know on a twin flame journey that the, the first thing that happens is that divine feminine and divine masculine that you hold within you becomes in that balanced state. You create inner union first before you create the outer union. So number one sign is all the victim energy, feeling like the journey is happening to you instead of for you, starts to dissipate out. You no longer feel resentment. You no longer feel um, anger to your divine counterpart. You are in a beautiful energy and you realize that everything that has played out on your journey has created this beautiful energetic field between you. You realize that all the oscillations that you felt and all those triggers were actually part of your journey so you can shift into a higher state of frequency. The next one all happens in the third eye and it is about surrendering and detaching. You are now in a very surrendered state. You are in a very detached state. You are no longer searching out really information of twin flames. You know that yes, um, the journey is happening to you. You understand that you can never, ever lose your divine counterpart once you've had soul recognition, but you realize that it is bigger than just the physical form. You realize that as you surrender in deeper, divine masculine will come in and they will no longer be running. As you surrender and detach, that, that runner chaser energy dissipates out completely. You're able to hold that frequency a lot longer between you. Now, I do want to state that this takes time and this is why twins will come in and have these reunions. It may be just energetically or it may be, it be in the physical. The reason why that happens is so you can see where the energy is. 
And as you are balancing, and this is the balancing energy, you are learning how to surrender and detach fully, not only to divine masculine, but to everything in your world. I want to really state here that this is an awakening. It's not just about getting divine masculine. Even though there's lots of toxic information out there that will only focus on that, this is way, way bigger. So so it is everything that is going on in your world. You will learn how to detach and surrender to, you know, f career, to family, to friendships, to other things that are happening in your world. This goes bigger than just the twin flame. You will feel no more p um, pain and that fear-based energy that was triggered at soul recognition is now dissipating. Yes, you will receive those oscillations and I want to show you, oscillations work a little bit like this. As you feel triggered, maybe your divine counterpart comes in or maybe just energetically they come in and you feel this energy and this is how at the start, it will feel very in intense, but listen, the tincture bells are dissipating out, the vibration dissipates out. And this is why I always teach in my Twin Flame course in Awaken to Consciousness, it is about standing in that pillar of light. And for anybody that is struggling, Awaken to Consciousness, we're live today, our Q&A, my Twin Flame course is there. I've created it so it shows you the step-by-step -step guide of how you work through this journey. Right, let's move on. Um, the mind isn't triggered. So, you know, no more doubt. You just know that this is your journey. You know that you're on the journey. You're no longer in the doubt and the fear and, you know, trying to figure it out. The mind isn't going 100 miles an hour anymore. You accept that you are on this journey and you know that it is a beautiful journey of growth. And you know that you can never lose divine masculine and it is just about learning how to balance the shared energetic frequency the heart chakra this is a beautiful one we know at soul recognition when soul recognition happens when your soul recognizes itself in divine masculine and you have that soul recognition you have this massive heart chakra activation at that point now you will feel that that love that you feel is all for divine masculine but as you shift along the journey, that love, you will know that it is the love at a soul vibration. And so any love that you feel for divine masculine is reflected back into you as well. You must find that deepest love for self and you learn how to keep that heart chakra open for everything that is flowing in and out. You are also aligned to soul purpose. Soul purpose is part of this journey. Every single twin flame will come into that alignment with soul. The nine to five now and jobs that you were doing or careers you were doing that you were just doing because it was there and you kind of, you know, made it work. You now have to align with heart and soul. This journey is about fully aligning with soul and that means fully aligning with soul purpose. This is why I teach, you know, the the quantum healers. This is why I teach the, the inner mystic. This is why I teach people how to grow soul-led businesses and passive income because once you are activated on this journey, you can only align with soul. You can only live by soul. And if we think about it where do you and divine masculine connect at a soul level this journey once you are connected in on a soul frequency because that's what it's doing it's shifting you from living from a mind based ego life into a soul led way of living and once you do that full shift that is when you're able to balance that shared energetic field with divine masculine. He will no longer run. You will no longer chase. You will accept the journey. And as you accept the journey, they accept the journey too. If you need more help and support, my website is there, Sacred Soul Rising. Everything that I create for over 20 years has been to help you shift and align fully 
with soul, whether it be the twin flame course or understanding how to create a beautiful soul-led business. I send you much love, many blessings.